Think Tank Watch. On today's Think Tank Watch, we're back to Emily Carver from the Think Tank, the Institute of Economic Affairs. She's the rather stroppy person who starts acting shirty if confronted by the lack of transparency concerning where donations come from to fund the IEA. We can start with Emily's organisation and uh, the, t the transparency of who we're all representing tonight. I am uh, you, deeply on, worried. That's, that's... Do you want to explain what you mean by that? The organisation that Emily's representing the has Institute been... Of Economic Affairs. The Institute of Economic Affairs has been rated by various uh, other think tanks as being non-transparent in the financing of its organisation. Now, we're all How entitled to have boring. our opinions here. We're all Probably entitled to have our opinions here. I'm my own person. I can speak for myself. Thank you very much. Here she is on LBC on the 13th of October 2022, being confronted by Adam Bienkov from the Byline Times on the Ian Dow Show. Well, you know, the, the agenda that Liz Truss has been pushing in her, in her media budget, you know, lower, shrink the size of the state and, um, and uh, fund in order to get big tax cuts, that's something, an agenda that organisations like the Institute for economic affairs have been pushing for, for years, including at a Conservative Party conference where they host a lot of events with ministers and where they boast that Liz Truss is, mm. has been one of their most regular attendees at. And so I think it does matter who funds these organisations because often they appear, people from these organisations appear, you know, quite rightly on, on programmes like this. And there isn't the, the question of who is actually funding the, the positions that funding the, the research is your accusation is, is your accusation with me sitting on this panel that somehow what I am saying is paid for because well, that is the incredible it's no surprise that someone who believes in uh, free markets in general might wish to work for a think tank that also um, believes yes, in that and it's no it's no coincidence that a politician like Liz Truss might be more interested in the Institute of Economic Affairs than she would be with a left-wing think tank that's how things work it's and the reason why we protect we, we, we protect, know who those people we protect are who the are privacy so of judgment. our donors because places like the byline times would go after them right you yeah, know people are allowed their privacy it's a right it's interesting if we look at byline times as shareholders they're not so squeaky clean are they either max we paid for mostly by our, is it no no we are paid for Son by our subscribers we're entirely funded for paid for by our subscribers and, and and people can 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 look at our, who our shareholders are. And people can and we put our subscribers on the front of our of our newspaper. People can't look at the IEA and see who funds them. Can't they can see, see a breakdown. They can see a breakdown. Some can't, of our donors. There's no real breakdown. On the website. Say say where they're the, from. Say listeners by suggesting there is. Nobody can go on, on your website and see who funds your organisation. You can you see can't. where where proportionately the, the spending comes from, uh, the donations come from. What you does can that also mean proportionally? See, what does that mean? Can, can people go on your website? Fundamentally, and see we protect the privacy of our donors. So they can't? They can look at the proportion and also some of our donors do express that but, openly. But you, you have to understand that if you aren't transparent, and the, what was the saying, transparency is the best form of disinfectant, if you aren't transparent, then of course people are going to think the worst, aren't they? They're going to imagine that um, a fossil fuel company will have paid you to come out with a report which says something that happens to be quite obliging to them. Now, I've had dealings with think tanks on the left and right for probably 30 years, and I genuinely don't believe that that sort of thing goes on, that that, that you have paid... Well, that's against the law. You have paid for research. That's not that, what that, happens. No, exactly. But don't you see that you're kind of feeding into this narrative that it does happen, and that's people suspect. I would, it does. I would, I would believe that if it weren't for the fact that the accusations that come our way are by people who fundamentally disagree with the ideology or the policy proposals of our think tank. Click here for another think tank watch.